Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of J Talks Philadelphia Eagles Football 2021 season. This is a week two recap between the Philadelphia Eagles against the San Francisco 49ers. The Eagles lost that contest 17 to 11. As I always do, I'll go the stats and my thoughts on the game, key and the couple of answers I'm going to talk about, and what the Eagles need to do to adjust. Hopefully, they can get better for week three next week on Monday night against the Dallas Cowboys, if I'm not mistaken. So, I've seen the highlights, I didn't see the actual game, so I saw highlights. Eagles still need to do a better job pass protecting Jalen Hurts. They still need to find. They need to give Miles Sanders run the ball more. It was a struggling team. This game was struggling. We lost two players on defense, one on the offensive line. And so it was tough. I mean, we kept the game score. I mean, there's some things that happened. The uh, the first one was we got a touchdown, but it was overturned because Jalen Rayer had a heel out of bounds. Another thing, we got a big play from Quez Walken, a 90, 91 reception return, 91 reception. However, we did not put any points of where we decided to go for it on fourth down instead of taking three. In my opinion, we should take three. They said they decided to call the Philly Philly special, which blew, which was disastrous. Didn't work. So, another thing, the Eagles receivers need to get open. They need to find ways to get open. They need to find ways to get open, and it was some break. You have Jalen Hurts straining by in time. He can run, it, but they need to find ways to get their receivers if they need to make plays. So it was a not a good day for the offense. It was just enough for the 49ers to win. 17-11 the final score. The key injuries was Brian Graham had an ankle injury. I have been told that it could be on via Twitter that for my cousin it could be a possible ACL. Hopefully it's not. It's a possibility it could be he might be done for the year. And thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the other injury is a right guard. And Brandon Brooks, who also was carted all went down with a chest injury. Hopefully it's not too serious. Hopefully he can be back in a couple weeks, but that is some very key injuries. If Brandon Graham is, if, if it's ACL, that means he's done for the year. So hopefully it's not, but we'll have to wait and see. So let's go ahead and get to the recap and tell you the Eagles total yard with 328 to the San Francisco, 306 penalties with eight to the Eagles, San Francisco with five, penalty yards with 57, and the four yards with were 60. The point had more time position 34 minutes and 54 seconds. He was had 25 minutes and six minutes and six seconds. And there's another thing they need to do better on the Eagles. They need to do better in stopping them on convert and stopping them the, like San Francisco on third down. They did pretty well in the first half, but the second half they turned it up. They got more more first downs than they had. They had like. Third and short, you have to get better penetration. You got to get better penetration in that game. And it was not pretty. So they need to do a better job converting third downs on the offense. They need a better job at getting receivers or offense. They need a better job pass protecting as well. Open and running lanes for Miles Sanders. They need to have a final way to run the ball or it's going to be a long season. And the defense need to find a way to get sacks and turnovers. Going to the stats here. Jimmy Gallup had 22 of 3, 189 yards, one touchdown. Jalen Hurts 12 for 23, he needs to get better. 190 yards, no touchdown, no interceptions. Greg Worth with one attempt, that was the bad pass, that was incomplete. Now you go with Jalen Hurts in rushing, 10 attempts, 82 yards, one touchdown. He needs to be limited. He needs to be limited on running the football. I know he can scramble, but you've got to feed, find ways to feed Miles Sanders the ball. Miles Sanders got 13 carries for 10 years, 55 yards. 10 was his longest. Uh, game well, six attempts, 14 yards. We go to the other side, 49ers. Mitchell with E. Mitchell. Uh, 17 attempts, 42 yards. 10 was his longest. Hasty was 5 attempts, 38 yards. 21 was his longest. Garoppolo 11 attempts, 20, 
20 yards, seven of the longest, but with one touchdown. Okay, there was a quarterback sneak. Samuel, two attempts, eight yards, seven of the longest. Sermon, one attempt, eight yards, That's longest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Juristic, and one attempt, two yards, and came with one attempt, and minus one. Going on the receiver side, I was thinking of the 49ers. D. Samuel with six catches, 93 yards. Hastings, four catches, 21 yards. They did pretty well against George Kittle. Four catches, 17 yards. James with two catches, 17 yards, 11 with long. Put the one touchdown. Just Kissing with two catches, 15 yards, eight with his longest. Mitchell, two catches, 11 yards. Sheffield with one catch, nine yards. And Aduya, I, I can't even pronounce it, one catch, six yards. Going to the Eagles side, not many receptions. This was pretty bad. These receivers need to get open. Quez Watkins, he only had two catches. The biggest one was a 91 yarder. He has 117 yards as total. Dallas Goddard, two catches, 24 yards. Dan Weather, two catches, 18 yards. Devontae Smith, two catches, 16 yards. Zach Kurtz, one catch, six yards. Rager, two catch, five yards. Miles Sanders, one catch, four yards. They need to figure out a way to get the receivers open. I mean, yeah, Quez Watkins can burn, but they need to help him. That drive should have been points. I would say that again. That drive should have been points, hands down. I don't know what they were thinking. Going for on fourth down, try to get a try to get a touchdown. I know they're trying to get a touchdown, but come on, it's early in the game. Take the field goal, keep the momentum on your side. Even though it's a field goal, you might be winning by a point or losing by a point, or you have the lead. But another thing is, your has got to remember the sidelines. He's got to know where the sidelines are. He's got to keep both his other foot in bounds too. That would be a big change if they had that touchdown. It would have been a different game. It could have been different for the Eagles. But it didn't happen. So the Eagles need to do a better job. So I'm not going to go to the defense side. But pretty much it. I'm going to keep it short. So my preview for next week's game against the Cowboys. They need to find a way to contain Dak. And they need to find contain a way to contain Zeke Elliott in that receiving core. I know Dallas has some injuries as well, but it's going to be a battle. Those two teams are going to battle it out. So, it ain't going to be an easy game. But I'll say that right now. Against Dallas, especially coming up on Monday night in Dallas. So, yeah, this is a big game to test. This is going to be a big test. If Brandon Graham is out pretty much out, and plus, it's time for Josh Sweat to step up. He did his own extent contract extension. He's a better, I, in my opinion, he is a way better presser than uh, Derek Barnett. So, I expect him to swap it out and then, but I would start Sweat, then Derek Barnett. Move Derek Barnett on the other side part, or Ryan Kerrigan on the other side of that. But these next games are going to be pretty rough. Because you get the Cowboys this, this next Monday night, then you got Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs in Philadelphia. Good luck on that one. And you have Carolina, who's been playing pretty good. They beat the Saints. They played pretty good. They're 2 0. So that's going to be a tough match on the side. Then you have Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. I'll say this right now. Forget it. It's not going to be pretty. Then you have Oakland Raiders. They've been playing good with Derek Carr. That's going to be a tough matchup. Then you don't know about Detroit. You don't know about Detroit. I mean, with this dude, with Jared Goff, a quarterback, so they could lose that game as well. It's not going to be easy, but let's focus on the Cowboys. They need to find a way to get Miles Sanders the ball, run the ball more. Do not give up on the ringing. Quit being pass happy. Offensive line need to be a better job in protecting Jalen Hurts. Let him buy time. The receivers must get open. Two catches highest is not going to get it done. You gotta get open. You gotta give your quarterback open. You gotta work on your route running. You gotta get better. This is getting bad. It's only two weeks in. I know we lost our first game. It's only two weeks in. But you gotta show me something. You gotta get better because if you don't get better, it's gonna be a long season and people are gonna be looking at you at right now. Already the season began before before the season started. They're looking at you at this is gonna be a rebuild team. So. Let's see if this team can compete. If not, it's going to be a rebuilt team. 
So, another thing you also need to do, they need to get pressure quarterback, force turnovers. That's the only thing they're lacking to. I seen it last year, they were not getting quarterback, they're not getting sacks or turnovers. If they can do that, that will explain my math. Do not go for it on fourth down that much. Take the point. If you have to punt, it's not that big of a deal. Do not go for it. The only time you should really go for it if you're trailing in late in the game. That's when you should go for it. Take the points. I I understand you want to get the touchdown. But with the, that big play by Quez Watkins, why not kick the field goal? Keep the momentum on your side. That's what you say. Okay, boys, we got points. Let's go out there and do it again. But we don't have to, let's go get the touchdown next drive. When I'm playing Madden, if I don't get a touchdown, I kick three. I don't go for it. Unless I'm trailing. So, I always take points. It's the right thing to do. Take the points. So, they need to stop, contain Dak, contain Zeke, contain, you, contain the Dallas wide receiver and tight ends. Find ways to get the receivers need to get over on the U.S. side. Feed Miles Sanders the ball. Uh, offensive line need to do better job run blocking and pass blocking. I say this game, if the Eagles get their way, have their have a good strategy, run the ball, and the receivers can get open, they could beat Dallas. I will predict a close game. I would say 27-24 third field goal. It'd be a close one. Now, if things don't go their way, I expect the Cowboys to run over them. I expect a, we'll say, 35 30 one to 21 game but we'll have to wait and see this is the only prediction what i'm seeing right now it doesn't look good so right now eagles are one and one we'll have to wait and see till next monday hopefully they get better i gotta say thoughts and prayers to brandon grant and brand books hopefully they get recovery hopefully the injury's not too bad but it might be for brandon grant or it might be acl but we'll have to wait and see Chess for Brian Brooks. He is coming back from the injury, so that's gonna be interesting to see how long he's there. Gonna be starting. So, all right, I'm done. I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a like if you did. I really appreciate it. Please comment, tell me what you think, and I will see you next time. So, take care, stay safe, stay humble. Hope you have a safe and wonderful Monday, and I will see you next time. So, stay humble and be a blessing.